Hey, been fresh. First of April, 2018. And I just uh, have to share this with you. The Washington Post, one of my favorites, where democracy dies in darkness. And, you know, they have to be inclusive, right? I mean, this is now the all-inclusive world, right? And so they share some Easter ways that uh, people celebrate the season. And it's very interesting that they pick what they pick here what I'm going to show you um, and it just illustrates so blatantly that the what we call Christians and these are not Christians I'm sorry folks they can you know claim to love Jesus as much as they want but th these are not people that are indwelled with the Holy Spirit I can tell you that right now and so but the post wants to make sure that the rest of the world thinks of Christians as this big, you know, basket of, you know, more or less do what thou wilt in their joyful celebrations. And now they are really, really throwing the name of Jesus around quite loosely, if you haven't noticed. I have. I've definitely noticed. And it's disturbing, but it's expected nonetheless. But, I mean, if you're really looking for the truth, I mean, look at these millions of people around the world who, who believe that they believe. Okay? But I just want to show you this real quick and ask a question. A Christian, by definition, is someone who is supposed to be following Christ, believing on him, saved, redeemed by his blood. Right? We try to walk his walk. Correct? That's what we do. Now, when he gives us the Holy Spirit, we have a very distinct and uh, obvious mechanism that, that comes into our spirit that enables us to, to truly see things, you know, uh, in a way that is just not possible otherwise. And that includes how we observe and 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 you know glorify our lord and and keep him close to us and in our hearts and all these things and i am telling you that there is no christian that's walking a true christian walk with the holy ghost that behaves like this these are what the washington post want to share with us this is their rendition of easter grown men lying in the middle of the street and whipping each other with ropes and what have you wearing these devil masks okay that's one they want to share with us oh this one here this is i guess salvador let's let's check this one out look at this the salvadorians celebrate easter season with whipping devils jesus yeah whoa yeah, Jesus, Jesus would be like front row to attend this, wouldn't he? And these guys run around. I mean, look at this. Watch this. You tell me how how Christian is this? It's a big joke. See, look at this. Oh yeah, it's a big giggly joke. And they, it's they they actually believe that they are glorifying the Lord by doing these things. And I'm not saying their intent isn't good, but, you know, where does the, where does good intent lead in many cases? I'll tell you, this world is as deceptive as it gets. And if you are not being led by the Holy Spirit, you're going to fall into these traps, man. I'm just telling you right now. If you truly want the truth, then you'll seek it. But look at this one here. They, they, like a hundred and something guys that carry this giant monstrous thing. Look at this. I mean, what the heck is that? I mean, do you think like Jesus would want to be sitting up there like an Egyptian pharaoh being paraded around or something? This is nuts, man. Okay? Thank you, Washington Post, for being all-inclusive and calling Christians, uh, whatever. You know, this stuff has to be shown at some point. Look at this one, right? They they have to say not all Easter celebrations are religious, but look at what they show you here. 
This right here is a kimono dragon. It's a serpent. Here are the serpent's Easter eggs. We must be all inclusive, right? The serpent, and listen to the music. As the serpent goes to devour the eggs. Oh yeah, it's probably its own children. Yeah, it's probably eating its cousins. This world is cooked, people, and I'm telling you, man, if you are not seeking Jesus with everything you got, every day, always, it's a giant black hole out there, man. It's, <laughs> I mean, look around, this whole Easter thing just it freaked me out this year, man. I was like, wow. I don't take anything away from these people, though, because I know that most of the world would just love nothing more than to truly know the Prince of Peace, the, the, the Savior. But they can't be, they cannot. Why? These are the uh, uh, countries that have the biggest problems with all the demons and possessions, and they wonder why. You know what I mean? I guess they're going to call themselves what they're going to call themselves, right? But as for me, Jesus is my Savior, my Redeemer. And I suggest you seek him diligently, daily. And I just had to show that to you. Hopefully somebody learned something. I don't know. I did, I guess. Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 